Hi everyone, I'm David from David O Yoga and welcome to 15 Minute Flow Balance. I've created these 15 Minute Flows to help you stay connected to your practice anytime, anywhere. And today's practice is called Balance and so we'll be working with a lot of balance poses. And balance poses and this flow in particular really, really effective in strengthening the hips. The outside muscles of the hips, the abductors, the inside muscles of the hips, the adductors, and the hip flexors. And all of these things are super important to our overall health, wellness, and core strength. And oftentimes when we take a flow class, we usually get some hip opening, but sometimes we don't get all the hip strengthening we need. Not today. We're going to get it all and we're going to do it in 15 minutes. Are you ready? Well, come on. Let's begin on our back in Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of feet together, knees wide, one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Close your eyes, take a big breath in. A long, slow exhale out through the nose. Relax your shoulders. Another big breath in. And a long, slow exhale. Relax your brow, soften your jaw. A couple more big, long, deep breaths like this. Eyes closed, just softening and relaxing from the top down. Welcome yourself just as you are. As you inhale, blink your eyes open, draw both knees into your chest, a little gentle rock side to side. Feel the back of your heart making contact, grounding into earth. Take your heels to the sky, happy baby. Press your heels skyward, draw your knees, your shoulders, and your sacrum down. Feel the whole length of your spine grounded. Exhale, release both feet down to the mat. Figure four, right ankle to the left thigh, flex the right foot, draw the left knee in. So you may find today's practice a little extra challenging. We're balancing on one foot. Sometimes we're up there for quite a while and we're switching poses. So I invite you to welcome an attitude of curiosity and play. Exhale, release, and let's switch. Left ankle, right thigh, flex the left foot, and draw the right knee in. So if you have to step down out of poses or you fall, it's fine. Notice where the mind goes, and then let the thought go, let judgment go, and come back to that space of play. We're learning, we're growing, we're getting stronger. This is a practice you can keep coming back to as your practice gets stronger. Big breath in. Exhale, release your hands, draw both knees into your chest, and begin to rock and roll up and down the length of your mat. Rocking up to a seat, extend both legs long, big breath, reach tall. Exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana. Reach your heart forward and melt the heart down. Inhale, rise, hands and feet come down to the mat. Press and lift your hips, let your head drop back. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Ha. Slowly lower all the way down. Sweep your legs behind you and find tabletop. Curl the toes, lift your hips and push back, downward dog. Let's take a couple breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down to earth. 
Breathe up the back lines of the legs and come to stillness. Inhale, feet together. Take the right heel up to the sky, long and strong. Exhale, knee to nose. Squeeze it in, activate the core, press through the palms and dome the upper back. Step the right foot through, rise, crescent lunge. Engage, lengthen and strengthen through the back leg. So press the ball of the left foot into earth. Reach up tall, eagle arms left under right. Fingers of the left hand come to the right palm or if that's not accessible or joyful, hands to the shoulders. Bring more weight to the front foot and shifting forward with control, find one leg mountain pose. Keeping the eagle arms, extend the left leg and hold. If you fall out of this or if you step down, no problem. You just come back. Let this be a joyful practice. Cross the left thigh over the right eagle. So you can wrap the left foot behind the right calf or simply press it against the shin. Bend the standing knee. Let's take it deep. Lift the elbows, press the forearms away. Big breath in. Exhale, elbows to knees. Round and flex through the upper back. Draw the navel in. So feel the core working here. Keep the eagle arms. Exhale. Warrior three. So unwrap the left leg. Lift it straight back behind you. And then hug muscle to bone in the standing leg. The hips are level here. Wing the arms back. Send the heart forward. Again, if you fall, if you have to step down, no problem, you just come back. Inhale, staying balanced on that right foot. Right hand to the hip, left hand to the knee and draw it in. Or you can grab the big toe and take it into Utita Hasta Parangustasana. Extended hand to big toe pose. As you exhale, open the knee or the leg to the left as you root down through the four corners of the standing foot and then take the gaze off the right shoulder. Inhale, left leg comes back to center and now let's find tree, sole of the left foot inside the right thigh, palms to heart center. Now I know we've been up on that right leg for a long time so if you have to step down no problem. This is a practice you can keep coming back to as you get stronger. Inhale, Grow your tree up to the sky, rooting the four corners of the standing foot into earth as you lift the heart. Reach up, separate the hand, shoulder distant. Look forward and glide, float back all the way to crescent lunge. Spin the back heel down, open warrior two. Now you can reposition the front foot so the front heel is in line with the back arch or the back heel and then drive the back heel into earth. Flip the front palm, take it up and back. Reverse warrior, lift through the heart. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot and spin the back heel up low lunge. Shifting forward, find standing split. So lift the left heel as you drop the left hip so the hips are even to the ground. Option to bind the standing ankle with one hand or with both hands. And again, if you have to step down here, no problem. Hands come down, curtsy. Left knee behind the right, wing the arms back, heart forward. Keeping the bent knees, upper body lifts. Right hand to the left wrist and take it up and over, big side body stretch. As we exhale, let's float back to a low lunge, step back and find plank pose, lower halfway, chaturanga, and we flow through our vinyasa, upward dog, urdhva mukha svanasana, and exhale, downward dog, auto mukha svanasana. Nice work, big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Feet together, inhale, take the left heel up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in, press into earth with the palms, dome the upper back, and step the left foot through. Rise, crescent lunge. Engage through the back leg, hug the right thigh muscle to bone. Inhale, reach up tall, eagle arms right under left, right 
fingers to left palm or hands to the shoulders. Bring more weight to the front foot and we glide forward nice and easy into a one leg mountain. Extend the right leg, point the toes, step down anytime you need to. Exhale, find eagle pose across left thigh, high up over the right thigh, bend into the standing knee, lift the elbows and breathe. As you exhale, elbows to knees. Round and flex, draw the navel in, activating the core to support the shape. Keep the eagle arms, unwrap the right leg, and lift it straight back behind you for warrior three. Lift the right heel, drop the right hip. Now wing the arms back, heart is nice and bright. Inhale, slowly rise up to one leg mountain. Left hand to the hip, right hand <laughs> to the knee, and draw it in. Again, allow yourself permission to fall, right? Option to grab the big toe and to extend into Utita. Root the standing foot, lift through the heart and the crown. As you exhale, open the knee or the leg to the right and slowly take the gaze off the left shoulder. Breathe. Don't forget to breathe. As you exhale, right knee or right leg comes back to center. And let's find tree sole of the right foot inside the left thigh. Palms come to heart center. Root down through the four corners of the standing foot. And as you inhale, grow your tree slowly up to the sky. You can keep your gaze forward or you can lift your gaze for a little added challenge. Reach up to the sky when you can reach no further. Hands separate shoulder distant. Look forward and then we glide all the way back to crescent lunge. Woo! Nice work. Spin the back heel down, open. Warrior two, root down through the back heel. Flip the front palm up and back. Reverse warrior, keeping the deep bend in the front thigh. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, spin the back heel up, low lunge. Glide forward into a standing split. So we lift the right heel and drop the right hip. Option to play with balance here. Bind the standing ankle with one or maybe both hands. Exhale, hands come down and curtsy, right knee behind the left. Wing the arms back, send the heart forward, staying in the deep bend in the knees. Upper body lifts, left hand to the right wrist, and a big side body stretch. Exhale, slowly glide back into a low lunge and step back, plank pose. Lower halfway for the vinyasa, chaturanga. Upward dog, Urdhva Mukha Shvanasana, heart forward and the shoulders back. Lift the hips, Auto Mukha Shvanasana, downward dog. Big breath in, open mouth, exhale. Ah, nice work. Exhale, come down to your knees, sink your hips to your heels, child's pose. Let your forehead rest softly on the mat. Big breath in. Long, slow exhale. Settle, let everything slow. Inhale, stretch your arms, your hands, your fingertips forward, puppy pose. As you exhale, let your heart melt down. You can look forward, you can look down, whatever's most comfortable on your neck. Inhale, walk your hands back towards you and come to a wide leg seat. Knees and toes facing the sky. Big breath in, sweep the hands high. And as you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, deepen. Finding your fullest expression in the fold. Nice and easy. Inhale, slowly rise. Bring your feet together at the front of the mat. Big breath in, sweep the hands up to the sky. And exhale, fold, empty breath, Paschimottanasana. Work to get a little extra length through the low back here as you reach your heart forward on the inhale. 
and deepen on the exhale. Inhale, slowly rise, reach your hands forward, slow your descent all the way down to your back. Scoot forward a little here. Draw knees into chest, give yourself a big hug. Gentle rock side to side. Feet up in the air, happy baby. Grab the outside edges of your feet, press the heels high. Close your eyes and as you exhale, let the knees and shoulders and low back ground down. Big breath in. Exhale, release, open into Shavasana. Give yourself some sweet rest. Stay here as long as you would like. Begin to bring movement to your fingers and your toes, your wrists and ankles. As you inhale, reach fingers, toes in opposite directions, big breath in. Exhale, draw knees into chest, and then roll to your right side. And as you inhale, press yourself up to a seat, top of your mat. Close your eyes, palms to heart center. Sit up nice and tall, big breath in. Exhale, let your shoulders melt down your back. Let's close our practice with one powerful ohm. Big breath in. Um. Bring your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. The teacher, the light, and the love within me sees and honors the teacher, the light, and the love within each one of you, sweet, beautiful beings. Namaste. Namaste.